Well, good day, folks. NB Wildman here again. Uh, for all of you that don't know, while I'm not out uh, hunting, trapping, or shooting, I go ahead and collect treasure. I'm quite a quite a treasure hunter. Uh, well, it's difficult to find gold in the brooks and streams in New Brunswick, although it's not impossible. What I have found is that there is gold in most electronics. Um, that's not new to most people, but what is new uh, for me is the idea of how to depopulate or to get the bits and pieces off the front of one of these gold-plated boards. Very difficult to recover the gold if all of this stuff is uh, still on the front of the board. So what I've discovered is a quick and easy method. doesn't involve any chemicals. It's safe. Um, let's go ahead and snap this here in the vise. And all you need is a uh, paint scraper or, or putty knife of any size, kind. And you need a simple heat gun from Canadian Tire. And you're just going to heat this up, take a few seconds, and you can watch just how quick and easy this board will depopulate. Takes very little heat, very little time, and that, uh, that lead tin solder is holding on all those little bits and pieces just falls right off. Quick and easy, no chemicals. go. Just like that, you're done. Quick, simple, safe, no chemicals involved. All of your little bits and pieces are off. you got a nice, clean, gold-plated board ready for, uh, ready for your next process, which should be a quick bath in hydrochloric acid, and then off to the AP process for um, actual removal of that, uh, that gold plate. Um, anyway, just wanted to show you a quick and simple way to depopulate boards if you're into uh, a little urban refining. Um, for more great videos uh, on uh, how to recover some gold and precious metals and uh, from uh, basic electronics, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, uh, send us a comment, uh, give us a like, and uh, we'll be getting back to you. NB Wildman out.